sci-fi webmaster kind of a question. <laughs> yes, what I can guarantee you personally, I've been transacting with PayPal for the past six years actually, and in fact, almost six years. And I think personally, it is really superb, you know, because I have never been hacked, you know. No, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not. I'm not an employee of PayPal. Uh, hey, sir. <laughs> yes, so, yes, yes. Uh, basically, it's, uh, there is a level of encryption. Uh, this is an, a high-tech answer, yes. It's encrypted. Uh, the, the, uh, the data is not just sent over the, the air or the, the wires. It's encrypted. And if uh, you don't have the... It's decrypted by the time it gets to the other side. It's encrypted. <laughs> Wait, uh, wait, uh, 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 we, we actually we do not need to argue with the superb uh, advance. Because, <laughs> um, yes, but because uh, it's hard to give a technical, it's some kind of uh, encryption, technical, HTML, whatever. But Ken is uh, really wanting to answer you. He's really hot doing that. Because we're only in the first page. <laughs> we have 65 pages. <laughs> But, but it's, it's a great question, right? Why so advanced? I'm not technical, so I will not answer you in a technical sense, but let me give you some numbers. PayPal loss rate is one of the lowest, if not the lowest in the world today. 0.17% uh, loss rate, okay? Meaning, well, when you do business, whether is it online business or offline business, there is always certain amount of loss rate, right? Refunds, detective goods, whatever, right? PayPal loss rate is at one of the lowest, if not the lowest in the world today, 0.17%. PayPal has, before a transaction happens, PayPal has pre-transaction screening. When the transaction happens, PayPal has on-transaction screening. After a transaction has happened, PayPal has post-transaction screening. PayPal is probably one of the very few companies in the world today that hire 2,000 plus employees and call them fraud specialists to monitor the transaction. Okay? Having said all this, there is no business today in the world that is guaranteed zero loss rate. Whether you are selling Goriata or you are selling in the internet, I cannot guarantee zero. Now, what is PayPal and how does PayPal work? Um, <coughs> it attracts more buyers and it's cost efficient, diba? And it is very convenient. Because lalo na, for the buyers, just click uh, PayPal and uh, payment will be sent. And for the seller naman, you, you just integrate and immediately it becomes a PayPal fund to you. I'll go back, ano, teka, before we leave this, because I forgot what is PayPal for the sellers. So please go back to the first page. Medyo pinash forward ko para makahabol tayo sa time eh. So, PayPal as for the seller. What is PayPal for the seller? Whoops. Number two slide. Yan. So, as a buyer, alam niyo yung flow, di ba? Now, as a seller, what happens? What is the flow for the seller? It is... Whoops. Uh, go back, sir. Uh... The buyer uh, asks people to pay the seller. There's two. They, uh, so the seller, he has to have a PayPal account, diba? Either automatic or integrated. Uh, later, we'll discuss uh, ways of receiving PayPal payment or PayPal product, no? The seller having a PayPal fund, you, the, the payment that was received, can now transfer to the bank account or to the credit card or allow it to stay at his own PayPal account and buy more items, no? He could use it as a fund to purchase. So it now becomes a currency online, okay? So imagine how many people can you transact now uh, worldwide having their own PayPal and you having your own funds. That's why the trend is going to this direction. Do not be left behind because PayPal is what it is online and it is going to be an online currency, okay? And PayPal recognizes the laws of the country 
no? as far as business is concerned. They need to comply with that. So since they're acting as your merchant account, they will be requiring you to pass some business requirements. Diba? It makes sense. Because the bank will ask the same thing to you. do PayPal, right? And we need to prepare our businesses. Sino po ba sa inyo dito ang registered business owner na? Yung meron na tayong mga requirements. Marami. How many? One, two, three, four. So you have the DTI, di ba? Yung mga business requirements, no? So, as in 85% will not be ready. Di ba? If in the event you use PayPal, you have your website and your product is a hit, successful, so next thing you know, PayPal will be asking you. Okay. So, that process is called underwriting. Okay? Sige, underwriting. Yeah. Okay. Except, this is, a, this is how it looks. This is how it looks, no? So, you are, you have PayPal, you have a business premier account. PayPal is acting as your merchant account. You have a website that's successful. It's a hit. People are buying. And then, suddenly, PayPal is asking some documents. Right? So, this is how it looks. No? This is an example of one of our participants. And actually, let us not take it personal. Because we are, if you're doing business, it is but right. And actually, PayPal is helping you to make it right. So, PayPal will ask, restriction means you're not out of the business. It's just that it's hold or, you know, there are some limitations, no? For review, it, you can still receive payment, advance, place your logo on your listing, update your account information. The only thing is, you cannot send or request money and you cannot close your account. So, it's a case-to-case -case basis, depending sa volume, no? Kasi there are, I've seen more uh, limitations, eh. Uh, but, the limitation will be lifted after you have complied with either confirm your bank. It means that you are forgetting a process. There's a process that you have not passed through. That's why there are some limitations, not just necessarily documentation, so perhaps you forgot to confirm your bank. Perhaps you you need to provide some proof of delivery. This is risk management. Eh. Giving this PDF to everybody, you can click that link. Or you can go to sendmelogistic.com. There's a free PDF file for you guys. No? Actually, sendmelogistic.com is a business support group. It is not a courier. Uh, my courier is a Send Express. Now, sendmelogistic.com is a support group for uh, my friends, <laughs> for the people who I love, and uh, for the students who are coming to the workshop that I'm, I'm sharing. No? Kasi ang hirap talaga ng isang araw lang. It's almost impossible because this is a new science. Uh, the process of e-commerce is relatively new. I'm just 11 years way ahead, and I would like to share it to you, but I cannot do it in four hours. So this helps a lot. Okay, next page, please. <laughs> okay, okay. A lot of you, I'm going back to this because a lot of you asked me, why do I need to register as a premier or as a business? And some of you are registered. Uh, doing registration as a personal account. There's nothing wrong with that except we are intended to do business. We, if you open a PayPal account and you decided to click the personal, you will have a limitation of withdrawal. Manong, yun na nga yung sinasabi ko sa'yo kanina. It is not really PayPal who is limiting your withdrawal. E except for the underwriting, ah. That's different, no? Underwriting or yung limited or yung restriction talagang limits you from withdrawal. Ito, limited ang laki ng wini-withdraw mo. If you have a personal PayPal account, then you cannot withdraw so much money. There will be a limitation. Kasi it's meant for shopping. You're supposed to get more money from your credit card and shop. And you will have limited amount of uh, payments to receive.